time state change, so must we that the new time requires new response to new challenges. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Glad to be with you once again on the program as you answer the call. I am Rashida Abubakar, your regular host. Officials of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, have been looking at past records on Hajj operations in order to guide the Commission on how to make the 2022 Hajj a hitch free exercise. This came in the form of presentations by past heads of various ad hoc committees that coordinated Hajj activities in 2019. Our spotlight segment tonight will focus on how NACON is drawing from past experiences to consolidate and improve on the successes recorded. Also on the program is our regular segment, Making the Hatch, and our talking point tonight is on the importance of visiting Medina. This is against the backdrop of Nigerian pilgrims being scheduled to first visit Medina upon arriving in Saudi Arabia for the Hatch exercise. We also have other segments such as the Narcon News Diary and the Quiz. Stay tuned. Every Muslim is a potential pilgrim. To make the Hajj possible for the Ummah, the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Narcon, is running a Hajj saving scheme through Jaiz Bank. The scheme allows depositors to gradually save for the Hajj over a period of time. Registration into the Hajj saving scheme is ongoing for all Muslims. Muslims wishing to perform Hajj can be enrolled into the scheme through the following outlets Narcon offices across the country, state pilgrims' welfare boards, agencies, and commissions, any branch of Jai's bank in the country. Enrollment can also be done directly by logging into dedicated sites for the scheme. Let's participate and support the Hatch Saving Scheme for better Hatch services. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. The program kicks off with the News Diary. Stay with us. <laughs> The National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, NACON, has released the provisional slots for the 2022 Hajj to 176 store operators. In the list, each company received slots based on its performance grade at NACON. In the top category, 9 companies got 90 slots each. In the second category, 25 companies received 70 slots each, while in the other category, 3 companies secured 75 slots each. The remaining 144 licensed store operators obtained 50 slots each. NACON has allocated over 9,000 slots to private companies out of the over 40,000 slots allocated to Nigeria by the Saudi Authority. In other news, the Chairman, House Committee on Pilgrims Affairs, Representative Abubakar Hassan El Araba says, the National Assembly and NACON are working assiduously to ensure that Nigerian pilgrims get value for their money. The lawmaker stated this in an interview in Lafia, Nasarawa State. There's a collaboration that existed between the Hatch Commission and the House Committee on Pilgrims Affairs. First and foremost, like the name implies, Pilgrims Affairs. So we oversight the Hatch Commission to ensure that um, all activities of pilgrims is well executed and also um, the Hajj Commission whatever they embark on especially during this preparation the screening of airline medical screening and uh, inspection of um, catering services in Saudi Arabia and um, inspection of hotel accommodations for Nigerian pilgrims in Saudi Arabia the do carry the House Committee along. Abubakar Nel Araba said he has confidence in the capacity of the leadership of NACON to manage the Hajj exercise 
particularly the 2022 edition being the first. The present crop of management of Nalcon, this is going to be their first Hajj exercise. And I believe they are working assiduously to give Nigerians the best Hajj, uh, the, the best Hajj uh, exercise, inshallah. And I have so much confidence in the leadership of the present uh, Hajj Commission. The chairman is a Hajj veteran. The Commissioner Operations, Wazir Haddawa, is also one of the finest Hajj administrators this country can boast of. And then the Commissioner of Finance and, uh, and the other commissioners are seasoned administrators. So I believe they are going to bring in their wealth of experience in Hajj administration and administration in general, in general to give Nigerians a good Hajj and Hajj Mabrul, inshallah. The lawmaker called on intending pilgrims to be good ambassadors of Nigeria during the Hajj exercise. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ogun State Pilgrims Welfare Board has commenced pilgrims orientation and medical screening for intending pilgrims in the state. The exercise takes place in Abeokuta, the state capital. Speaking at the occasion, the executive secretary of the board, Alhaji Salah Dauda, said, the orientation is designed to guide pilgrims on what is expected of them in the course of the Hajj. He noted that the medical screening will avail the intending pilgrims the opportunity of knowing their health status so as to be placed on proper medication. Officials of the Nigerian Immigration Service and that of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, were on ground to educate pilgrims on the do's and don'ts associated with international travels. In a related development, the FCT Pilgrims Welfare Board has concluded its weekly Pilgrims Enlightenment program. During the last exercise, Islamic scholars took intending pilgrims through practical demonstration of the Hajj rites. The demonstration focused on Mikat, Arafat, Awaf, Sa'i, and Pelting of Jamrat, among other Hajj rites. <laughs> In Katrina State, Islamic scholars led the way to educate pilgrims about the Hajj rites as well as the do's and don'ts associated with it. The intending pilgrims were further exposed on the practical aspect of the Hajj rites. <laughs> Uh, because this will give them the idea of how they are going to perform the actual uh, Hajj, Hajj ritual. Uh, currently, we have separated male pilgrims and female pilgrims. And uh, we have different uh, uh, malams that are coaching them how to conduct Hajj as prescribed by the Islamic, uh, by the Islamic uh, provision. Uh, in addition, we have made arrangements with the primary health care development agency of the state. So far, the vaccines for yellow fever and meningitis have been procured. We are making arrangements to send, to send some people to Kano tomorrow to convey the vaccines to Kasina so that immediately the uh, intended employee will start to be vaccinated as required. <laughs> tanda kaga bocin da nazo a hakan ban san me ya rukunan hajji ba ko umara amma yanzu haka rukunan hajji zai iya fada maka su abitar da aka koya ma ka ga na farko akwai harama akwai dawafi akwai sa'ayi akwai tsayo arfa wanda suka yi mana bayani cewa wa'annan rukunan na hajji guda hudu idan aka rasa arfa to ka rasa hajjin ka more states are expected to wrap up the weekly enlightenment program in a few days as airlift of pilgrims begins next week. Alhamdulillah, you are still watching as you answer the call. A public enlightenment presentation that keeps you abreast of the activities of the National Heart Commission of Nigeria, NACON, and other heart-related matters. Different ad hoc committees for the 2022 Hajj operations are being inaugurated by NACON. 
preparatory to the exercise, the Commission organized a review session of past hard activities in order to draw from the experiences of those involved. Our Spotlight segment tonight will focus on how NACON is striving to consolidate and improve on past records in order to make the 2022 Hajj hitch free. Stay with us for the details. Labbaik, labbaik, Allahumma labbaik, 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 Allahumma labbaik, 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 Allahumma labbaik. Members of the Accommodation Committee carrying out one of its assignments during the 2019 Hajj. Part of it is to welcome pilgrims and allocate them rooms in hotels secured by Nakan in Madinatul Munawwara. Like the Accommodation Committee, other committees were also busy handling their various responsibilities at the time. Such committees include National Reception Team, Feeding Committee, Security Committee, Aviation and Monitoring Committee, Others include National Medical Team, National Media Team, and Inspectorate and Compliance. And so, as part of the preparations for the 2022 Hajj, Nakan Management has reviewed the activities of these committees in order to compare notes on the best ways of consolidating and improving on the successes recorded in previous Hajj exercises. The event featured presentations by heads of past ad hoc committees during which they identified areas where the Commission needs to pay greater attention to. In 2019 Hajj operation, we had issue. Uh, pilgrims were moved to uh, Inugu Airport for them to depart. And then suddenly it happens that the, the carrier that is supposed to leave them is uh, Medview. Medview has some issues. Medview couldn't uh, leave them. Then March, uh, Max Air was approached. Max Air, the Lord on his side is much, cannot handle. So the last resort was to meet uh, Flyners. They were lifted by Flyners. But Flyners, the condition they gave is that uh, they don't have, with uh, the issue of uh, insurance, their insurance uh, does not cover the Inugu airport, so it has to be Abuja. The Maka operation is the bedrock of the medical mission. It started on the 10th of July and uh, ended 11th of September. A total of nine clinics were operated during that operation. They were opened in succession. We started with, with five, but as the need um, increased, we opened it. But the condition was that for each clinic that will be open, you will require three computers and a router. So the main clinic was located at the uh, Al Mosfala Clinic. That's Al Mosfala Clinic located uh, on the Ibrahim Khalil Street. And it was the headquarters of NMP activities. Next slide, please. Uh, when you have poor, we had poor pre hajj medical screening. Mm -hmm. And this led to uh, people with very serious comorbidities and so on um, going for hajj and presenting mm -hmm. as medical emergencies. And then I talked about the Medina, the delay, and absence of utility vehicle attached to NMT um, is also one of the weaknesses we observe. Then some clinic accommodations. The operation of the committee in uh, security operations. Operations can either be covert or overt. The onshore operations have members deployed to all the 15 departure airports across the country to monitor and coordinate activities of all stakeholders in conjunction with the respective zonal offices of NACON. Those deployed were given priority areas, including pilgrim security camp, pilgrim security, camp security, and general welfare of pilgrims prior to their departure to Saudi Arabia. Delay in early of pilgrims were experienced in some departure centers, like Kaduna, Ilori, Jigawa, Bauchi. There were reported cases of some pilgrims beach on change during payment of a BTA. In addition, similar exercise took place at the main conference hall of the Hatch House as another set of heads of ad hoc committees made presentations on the activities they handled previously. It's just the description of uh, what the tragedia is all about. It is a new method 
of moving the pilgrims from Mecca to the Mashair and from the Mashair to the uh, to Mecca. Simple. Uh, the major tax of uh, inspect, uh, inspectorate and compliance is uh, liaising with all service providers and relevant government agencies to ascertain the capacity and readiness to provide service to pilgrims. The presentations drew questions, comments, and observations from participants. The presentations are part of what Nakon is using as yardstick in forming ad hoc committees for the 2022 Hajj. Already, the committees are beginning to come on stream as Aviation, National Medical, and many more have been constituted. Masha Allah, the program is as you answer the call. Coming up next is making the Hajj. Imam Al Hassan Yaqub takes us through discussions on the significance of visiting Medina. <laughs> While on pilgrimage, pilgrims visit Medina, either before performing the Hajj or after. What then is the significance of visiting Medina? What places are recommended for pilgrims to visit? The Masjid Nabawi, about 300 meters. On making the Hajj tonight, Imam Yaqub Al Hassan answers these and other questions. Visit to Medina or Ziyara to Medina is a religious act that is Sunnah rewardable and recommended for every pilgrim who happens to be in uh, uh, for you know undertake a journey or uh, particularly pilgrimage the there is no you know harm if a pilgrim visit medina before the hajj or after the hajj it is all the same Medina is blessed, as we know, as the Prophet Ibrahim prayed for Mecca, Haram in Mecca, for blessings and for sacredness. The same thing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, prayed for Medina, for blessings and, uh, you know, spiritual uh, inclination. The first place to visit while in Medina is the Prophet Masjid. Or haram. It is recommended for him upon entering the Masjid Nabawi to pray two rakaats of Napila to hear to Masjid. Particularly, it is recommended that he should observe the two Nawafil in a place called Arrauda. Arrauda is the place, uh, you know, the garden uh, between or a place between the house or the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam now to his pulpit member. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said is a guardian of Al Jannah. You know, he he, he um, you know the similitude of uh, praying there. And so if one is not able to perform his two nawafil in Rauda, then he can do it anywhere within the mosque. After the two rakat prayer Pilgrims can offer supplications. And after the prayer, you are expected to make your dua. You pray for yourself, for your family, for your country, for the generality of a Muslim Ummah. In fact, the humanity, you are expected to pray for peace in the world and stability therein. Because it's a place where, um, you know, reception of dua are expected. What is the benefit of observing prayers in the Prophet Masjid? There are so much um, reward. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, performing prayer in my mosque is equivalent to 1,000 of the similar prayer in another mosque, except in the Masjid Al-Haram. So, a two rakats you perform in the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or Salatul Fard, any prayer that you observe in the Masjid Nabawi, the Prophet Mosque in Medina, is equivalent to 1,000 prayer anywhere up, uh, in the world apart from uh, Masjid uh, Al-Haram, which is 
hundred times more than anywhere. Similarly, pilgrims are expected to offer salutations to the Prophet and his companions, namely Abu Bakr Siddiq and Umar Farooq, who were buried close to his grave. Reaching the grave of the Prophet wasallam, a pilgrim is expected to face the grave and then say, Assalamu alayka ya Rasulallah, Assalamu alayka ya khaira khalkillah, Assalamu alayka ya Habiballah, Assalam. Then ashadu annaka ballakta risala wa nasata al-umma. They are so many versions of the way, but the, the simplest and the, 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 the shortest form is Assalamu alaikum ya Rasulullah. Then there is also the visit of Baqiya Cemetery, Shahadaul Uhud, and Masjid al Quba. Masjid al Quba was established even before the establishment of the Prophet Mosque in Medina. So it is rewardable. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the reward a pilgrim or a visitor or one will get by performing two rak'ats in Masjid Quba is equivalent to the reward of performing Umrah. There is the cemetery of Jannatul Baqiya, Baqiya Cemetery, where you find you know, a, a large number of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, including Nana Fatima that are buried there, and Sayyidina Usman is also there, and the rest of the Sahaba are expected to say, Assalamu Alaikum, Assalamu Alaikum, Ahal, Ahal, Diyar, Minal Muminina Wal Muslimin, Wa Inna Insha'Allahu Bikum Lahikun. Imam Al Hassan said pilgrims can visit other historical places in Medina, such as Masjid al Qiblatayn, Gramama, and Sabah al Masjid. He then called on pilgrims to respect Medina as the city of the Prophet. The Islamic scholar further advised pilgrims to seek more knowledge about Hajj rites. Alhamdulillah, now it's time for the quiz. Try your luck with this week's question. Labbaik, labbaik, Allahumma labbaik. Welcome to the quiz segment. The question in the last episode was Mention three designated places used as Mikatul Makan. The correct answer is Al Jufa, Yalamlam, and Zul Hulaifa. The winner is Muhammad Adelodun from Lagos State. He provided the answer ahead of others. Muhammad Adelodun will be contacted on how Nakon will reach him with the prize he won. A quiz winner will get 25,000 Nera cash prize. This is part of Nakon's efforts in social investment in Nigeria. Now to the quiz for this week and the question is Mention three places pilgrims are expected to visit in Medina. Again, mention three places pilgrims are expected to visit in Medina. Text your answer to the number showing on your screen. The winner will be the first person whose correct answer is received. All answers should carry the name and location of sender. Good luck and happy viewing. Once again, good luck to you. But before we round off the program, we take some messages from our viewers including questions seeking clarification. Ahmad Jibrin from Bauti State sent in the first message. It says, I want to thank Nakon Chairman al Haji Zikrullah Kunle Hassan and his team for starting the preparations of 2022 Hajj earnestly. May Allah make it possible for us. Dauda Muhammad from Jos Plateau State sent the second message. It contains this prayer. May Allah bless Nakon management with more brilliant ideas in order to continue with Hajj transformation for better service delivery to Nigerian pilgrims. We would like to hear from any quiz winner who has received his or her prize. Also, viewers seeking clarification or have questions to ask on any matter relating to Hajj or Umrah management and operations can do so through this program. Relevant officers will be contacted to respond appropriately. We also welcome your messages, comments, observations and questions through our mobile number and other social media platforms. Ma Assalam. Inna <laughs> al